morning, Gracians. Welcome to Grace Every Morning. My name is Samantha and I serve the Nexus team. Today we are on chapter 18 of our devotional series on the book of 2 Samuel and I hope you have been blessed by the sharings from our fellow Gracians. The reflection question for today is, how far would you go for your children? And the key verse for today is verse 6. It reads, King David commanded Joab, Abishai and Itai, the commanders of his army, be gentle with the young man Absalom for my sake. And all the troops heard the king giving orders concerning Absalom to each of the commanders. In this chapter, David is again an exile in his own land, but this time as king, he is running away from his son, Absalom, who has claimed the throne even though his father is still alive. I cannot imagine the betrayal David felt, but yet we can see that David's heart remains so tender towards his son despite such a terrible mistake. You know, he even tells his army not to hurt his son for his sake. And here he is speaking to them not as a king, but as a father. And actually that places his army in a very difficult position. How are they supposed to ensure the throne returns to its rightful owner without harming the usurper? History has shown us that a fight for any throne, even between relatives, is always a bloody fight to the death. How would David's army protect Absalom? the very person they were supposed to remove. And later, when Absalom eventually dies, the chapter ends with David mourning for his own flesh and blood, despite him reclaiming his throne. And despite this great tragedy, David's grief for Absalom reminds me of the grief the Lord has for us as our Heavenly Father when we make mistakes that betray him as well, or to do things that are not pleasing in his sight. Yet, as his children, let our Heavenly Father's grief lead us to repentance. Let us not take our Father's grace for granted as well. Even in our daily lives, let us consider how we might have taken our earthly parents for granted as well. And I believe all the parents would say, Amen. You know, I may not be a parent yet, but learning to thank my mother for the daily things that she does, like laundry and washing up, and also apologizing to her if I've done anything wrong or have been disrespectful are some simple ways we can remember not to take our earthly parents for granted. I believe the Holy Spirit has been prompting us even as we have heard the word of the Lord. Let us not shy away from Him and let the Holy Spirit do the ministry necessary for our hearts, whether in our relationship with our Heavenly Father or with our earthly parents. And let us Ask Him to help us in these relationships as well, to do what is right and pleasing in the eyes of the Lord. Let us pray. Father, we want to thank You for You as our Father, oh God. And Father, right now we know that even as Your Spirit has prompted us for the things that uh, we have done, whether knowingly or unknowingly, we know that it's done not in the spirit of uh, condemnation, but it's all done in love. It is all done in uh, leading us to repentance and leading us to greater intimacy with you as our Father, O oh God. And so right now, I just want to commit my brothers and sisters into your hands, whether it is their relationship with you as the Heavenly Father or their relationship with their earthly parents, O oh God. Father, may, the, may any heart that surfaces up in this moment be brought to you uh, in surrender, be brought to you for healing, be brought to you for restoration, O oh God. And Father, for where... Um, their voices are unable to communicate or express their own appreciation and love for their parents and even for you, oh God. Father, may our hands and feet and our actions show what we intend to say, what we intend to express, which is that love that we have for you and the love we have for our earthly parents, oh God. So would you help us as we are being made more and more like you each day. I commit everyone into your hands. In Jesus' most precious name we say, Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us at Grace every morning today. Let's continually seek the Lord out in our daily lives. We'll see you tomorrow.